Casio Education UK has created a new website, Casio Calculators in Examinations, to help us discover in what qualifications their calculators are allowed. Now, I imagine that Casio Maths UK, as well as indeed the calculator guide, gets many questions asking, is such and such a calculator allowed in a particular exam? So hopefully this is going to answer many of those questions for you. Let's take a look at the first one here, Colour Graphic Calculators in Examinations, Exam Eligibility. These models are permitted in all UK examinations. So let's read more about that. Right, so what is this relevant for? Well, for the FX CG50 and the now discontinued FX CG20, these models are permitted in all UK examinations. These models are permitted in IBDP examinations with restrictions. These models are not permitted in Irish examinations. Let's take a look at the chart here. Well, firstly, we've got examinations in England here. We've got the three main exam boards for GCSE and A-levels here, AQA, Edexcel, OCR. We can see that the CG50 and the CG20 are allowed in both GCSE and A-level for all those boards. With OCR, I imagine that means OCR MEI as well at A-level maths. But not necessarily just A-level maths, also any other GCSE or A-level, which requires you to use a calculator, science, geography, psychology, etc. Lots of different ones you may need a calculator for. Indeed, the CG50 is allowed in all of those examinations. It's also allowed for the Welsh board as well, for GCSE and A-level, uh, for Northern Ireland qualifications from the CCEA, and for Scotland as well. We have the national and higher qualifications. The CG50 is allowed in those, but we can see clearly here for the junior and leaving certificates in Ireland, the CG50 is not allowed. For the international baccalaureate as part of the diploma program, the use of the CG50 is restricted. That basically means putting it in exam mode. Uh, and we'll discuss a little bit about that in just a moment. And it's also allowed in the City and Guilds qualifications too. So these calculators have an examination mode. Examination mode prevents vector calculations, 3D graphs, and access to stored data. In the UK, students are required to erase stored data, and this is very important. You must make sure that your calculator is clear of anything that is stored in there. And if you take a look at the next line, we recommend using examination mode for A-level and GCSE, as this is easiest to verify. And this is because it places a colour box, I believe it's green, around the outside of the screen. So it's nice and clear to examiners or invigilators that you're in this restricted exam mode. The only slight problem with that, if you're using it for A-level maths, is it will restrict your access to vector mode, vector calculations in there, which you may be using as part of your calculations for A-level maths. So just be aware of that. Bear in mind that you can reset the calculator and clear out any stored values there's a previous video on that for you to watch in fact that is what you need to do if you take further maths they recommend an exam reset that doesn't disable vector arithmetic and 3d graphs uh, and does make your compli calculator compliant with jcq regulations Okay, and this is quite important as well, particularly if you've got a science examination, maybe a science A-level or such. The calculator must be in examination mode for any science examination because the Physium app contains electron configurations in the periodic table. So, personally, I don't know very much about that, but I take it that it's something that you need to remember there. Uh, so, you must have your calculator in examination mode for any science examinations. And similarly there with the IB, the International Baccalaureate, examination mode is required for use in examinations. Please refer to IB documentation. And just to confirm here, the calculator does not have symbolic algebra manipulation. This is a question that I know Casio have been asked many times by many of you out there. They've contacted me regarding this too. This particular calculator as it stands with the modes that it has is not able to do symbolic algebra manipulation it's not able to do symbolic differentiation or integration and provided that we have cleared out the memory then we're not going to have any stored text or mathematical formulae in there and again 
as covered in a previous video as well as well with the, the class Wiz, it doesn't have a language translator uh, within there for if you happen to have it in a language exam it can't translate the language for you on there so that is the color graphics that we've got covered on there let's just go back and take a look at the other calculators that are part of this list there um, so let's read more about basic scientific calculators well you can see here that they're clearly allowed in all of the exams that we have in the UK and Ireland here what calculators does this cover well you might be familiar certainly with these two here uh, the FX 83 or 85 GT plus uh, these have now been discontinued and replaced with the equivalent class whiz versions of these the FX 83 and 85 GTX and these models are permitted in all UK Irish and IB DP examinations now this is very important here this line that they've got displayed here please note that permitted means that the calculator is allowed in the exam it does not mean that it is suitable for the exam and this is very important if we think about a level mathematics this particular model of calculator the fx83 gt is not going to be sufficient for you in an a level exam for mathematics and further mathematics maybe even some other exams as well so you must have the ability to access a distribution mode for example that uh, this particular calculator is not capable of so you can certainly bring it in in combination with a calculator that does do that say if you've got a graphic calculator like for example the CG50 that you bring into the exam if that's permitted in your exam and you could have this as a complementary calculator as well yes you are allowed two calculators in the exam provided that they both conform to the JCQ regulations again that's been asked before as well so you are allowed to take two so you could bring this in in combination with another calculator just maybe for speed and flexibility you can normally do arithmetic calculations very quickly many people would consider the scientifics to be a little bit more user-friendly than a graphic so if you wanted to rapidly calculate something it may be suitable to bring this calculator in but generally I would say um, don't have this one for A-level, but yes, yeah, certainly use it for any of the other qualifications uh, that are displayed here. So let's go back to the main page there, and then we've got Advanced Scientific Calculators. Let's read more about these. Um, so we've got here the ClassWiz FX991EX and the discontinued FX991ES. Uh, this is the main sort of standard calculator for A-level and various others and yes we can see here this is very important here yes it is allowed at GCSE so quite a few of the questions that the calculatorguide.com gets is is the FX 991EX allowed at GCSE GCSE maths uh, primarily well yes it is um, so you are allowed that at GCSE but bear in mind that there are many questions that do require you to give a full explanation full justification for your answer so even if you're able to get an answer quite readily through the calculators modes then you must make sure that you in certain questions you are able to justify why you've got the answer and of course it's definitely highly recommended for the a level two but important here it's not permitted in the irish examinations there it's also not permitted in the ib examinations now imagine that one of the reasons why they restricted the CG50 was due to the vectors, it, the vector calculations that that could do for the IB. And the FX991EX does have a vector calculation mode. So I'm not completely familiar with that qualification, but obviously there is some sort of requirement to work uh, manually with some vector calculations there, which isn't allowed on the calculator. So therefore, the FX991EX is not allowed in that. Okay, let's go back and there's two more to have a look at. These are some older graphic uh, calculators that we've got here. Um, so the FX9750, let's have a look at this one. Well, again, it's, it's really very similar to what we had for the FX CG50 there. Same sort of permissions as we would expect. Uh, and once again, not permitted in the Irish examinations. Let's go and have a look at the final one that we've got here, the FX9860. And again, they're saying all models permitted in UK examinations not in Irish examinations um, so we've got the two models here and so they again once again this is allowed in most of the qualifications certainly all of them in the UK not the Irish examinations and again once again it's in exam mode 
for the IB qualification on there. So again, similar recommendations here. Clear out, make sure that you've cleared out your data before you go into the exam. Make sure there's nothing stored in there or put it into exam mode prior to that. So there we go, a very useful site from Casio there, helping to clear up a lot of questions that many students and teachers have about whether a particular Casio calculator is eligible for an exam in the UK or Ireland. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can go and take a look for yourself. Uh, but that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.